I'm going to quick demonstrate how to use aftertouch from a programming perspective, even if you don't have a keyboard handy that has aftertouch. I'm going to grab a robust virtual instrument such as the Ableton Operator or maybe the Ableton Sampler. I'm going to head right over to the Global tab and I'm going to notice that I have aftertouch routing along with all the other keyboard kind of messages. Aftertouch is not unlike velocity, but it's dynamic during sustain. So instead of a single message or trigger type value when the note is depressed or released, which you get with velocity, in this case, it's a steady stream while you're holding the key down. So my favorite thing to use it for is for routing it to parameters that uh, require that, that like dynamic motion. One of my favorite things inside of the operator to route this to is FM drive, or maybe the crossfade of an oscillator. Let's start with FM drive. It'll be a little more obvious to hear it. I'm just going to go ahead and pluck a few notes and add some FM to this. But I want some sustaining FM because I'm going to do this aftertouch thing. There you go. So now I'm just going to make a clip of some notes, just some note, sustaining note, right? Yeah. And maybe I'll make this a little longer. Go ahead and legato this clip and head straight to that global tab again. And I've got my FM drive. I just need to set the depth. Everyone sees how that works, right? I'm going to turn it all the way up. Shift tab over to the clip and show my envelopes. And in this case, I'm not going to go to the operator. I'm going to just go to MIDI control. This is where we're going to get a bunch of cool opportunities to tweak and freak stuff, but the pressure is the lane that we're looking for here. Channel pressure. There's a couple different kinds of pressure which we can get into, but pressure is another word for aftertouch. So what I can do now is if I'm showing this, of course, and I have my pencil tool, I can program any parameter. I was thinking we might make an unlinked, really short envelope for this. Three beats. And look, we have another target we can send it to. Let's do the crossfade. Actually, we wouldn't want to do crossfade and FM drive at the same time. I'm going to switch my algorithm quick. This has been James Patrick, and I hope you check more of us out over at slamacademy.com. We've got online classes in Ableton, sound design, and plenty of other fun topics. Hope to hear from you soon.